Snowfall accumulations are one of the hardest things to predict. We're going to give you our best shot at it. First of all, this morning, light rain is moving into Alabama. This will be sleet, but a lot of it is evaporating before it hits the ground. It will continue, though, and rain will start here in Birmingham this morning. It will start as sleet and snow in the Tennessee Valley. There is a winter storm warning in effect north of Birmingham for Blount County, Walker, all the way up to the Tennessee Valley. Tuscaloosa, Jefferson, Shelby counties, everywhere east and south, a winter storm watch. Warm, heavy snow falling in Birmingham. The ground is completely white here on Red Mountain. We have 32 degrees. We're still talking snow accumulations of 4 to 10 inches tonight near blizzard conditions after midnight with north winds of up to 40 to 45 miles per hour. Power outages are a good possibility after midnight tonight, and this will be one of the strongest winter storms on record for the eastern third of the country. Heavy snow from Birmingham north and east. A live report coming up at 4 o'clock. Stay with us. This is a current composite of all of the radars across the south, and you can see just about entirely snow now from uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston north. South of that, we have rain and very heavy precipitation in the Gulf. That will be coming across here tonight, and for that reason, we are still forecasting snow accumulations between 4 and 10 inches. Take a look at the scene outside now. The Doppler 6 Weather Center on Red Mountain out in front of our building. You can see what we have right now, and that's snow covering all of the grassy areas, and the snow is coming down now at a moderate rate. The current temperature dropping down to 32. That's our thermometer reading now. And Will Collins of our staff is now live out in the snow for a report on road conditions. Kevin? All right, James, thanks very much. We've been here for about 15 or 20 minutes. When we first got here on I-59 northbound at the 31st Street exit, the snow was not sticking to the ground and the grass, and now it is, and it's starting to accumulate very, very rapidly. The roads, as you can see me on I-59 behind me, just wet at this point, but very, very soon, especially on the sides of the roads, you're going to see some slush. The closest thing to a blizzard we've perhaps ever seen in Birmingham, at least for the past 50 years or so, and because of the winds, there's a good chance we're going to have trees falling tonight. Keep in mind, we're having heavy, wet snow, and with the trees falling perhaps on power lines, plan on some power outages. Now, we'll have a complete update on Channel 6 News at 5 o'clock in one hour. Birmingham to the northeast, we've got 6 to 16 inches on here for northeast Alabama. The folks really on up in the Appalachian Mountains here, they will be measuring this thing in terms of feet instead of inches. One to five inches, maybe as far south as Montgomery, and one inch all the way down into south central Alabama. Even flurries are possible tonight as far south as Mobile. Now, let's put the radar in motion. We've had light snow here all afternoon. I say light, actually moderate to heavy in some spots, but this is what we're concerned about. A huge mass of heavy rain down here in the Gulf with this storm energy center. It's moving inland right now. That will come right on through North Alabama during the night tonight, and that's when the snow will be very, very heavy. And as the snow gets heavy, the winds will be increasing. This is a, uh, just a, what we call a, a bombogenesis type storm. It's going to explosively intensify. And uh, as it does that, moving on through here, we'll see these tremendous winds. And again, we're talking 50 mile per hour winds after midnight tonight, driving the snow. The center of the storm now is south of New Orleans, and this will be tracking through South Alabama. And as it rolls up the Atlantic seaboard tomorrow, those folks will see hurricane force winds. If you're going to try and go anywhere tomorrow, the eastern third of the country will be closed down. All right, windy. Periods of heavy snow, blizzard conditions after midnight, a north wind at 25 to 45 miles per hour. The low tonight near 20. Uh, we've had snow here for about the past four hours now, and let's go live to Kevin Collins. Kevin is now standing out the back door here at Channel 6 on Red Mountain. Kevin? All right, James, thanks very much. Uh, roads are deteriorating rapidly. We were out for the 5 and 6 o'clock newscast and just now made it back up to the station. The secondary roads, the back roads are really covering up quick. There's at least two to three inches on some of those. The uh, more traveled roads are now getting slush on them and the highways, the slush is starting to build as well. Blowing snow a problem, as you can see the wind blowing my hat around, that's going to be a problem for uh, the rest of the evening, especially as the snow intensifies later on into the evening. If you don't have to go out, by all means, stay in and enjoy the snow. It's awfully pretty to look at and be careful as you're driving around because if you do have to go out, the roads are going to be very, very slick, leave plenty of room between you and the car in front of you. Also pump your brakes when you come to a stop. Very, very quickly, I got a little uh, measuring stick out here. Outside the back door, so far here on the parking lot, we're looking at about an inch of snow. James, back to you. 
Okay, Kevin, thank you very much. Now, let's point out a couple of notes on road closings. Interstate 59 between Tuscaloosa and Birmingham has been closed. That report from the Alabama State. Right now, we have 31 degrees on our thermometer here on top of the mountain. The Birmingham Airport at 32. So that means just about all of the observations around Birmingham uh, at or just below the freezing mark. And again, as the main part of the storm moves in here late tonight after midnight, we'll have near blizzard conditions. And because of the heavy, wet snow and the high wind, there's certainly a good potential for power outages, and you should be prepared for that. Now, concerning concern near the Gulf Coast, close to the storm center, that will come in here late tonight between midnight and 6 o'clock. Total snow accumulations between 6 and 8 inches. Some of you could receive one foot. Stay with us for updates throughout the night on accumulations in the Birmingham area between 6 and 8 inches. Anywhere from Birmingham north and east, we could see 6 to 16 inches of snow and oh, and that could lead to some down trees and maybe some power outages. Here's a look at the radar composite. Again, the really heavy stuff is just now moving inland from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, if this continues on its northeastward track, that will wind up in our area after midnight tonight. And between midnight and 6 a.m., we could see very heavy snow and very high wind as well. I can, attest, I can attest to those developing blizzard conditions. The wind gusts coming along and bouncing off the building here, definitely increasing in strength. But the snow is the real story right now. It is really, really coming down hard. Maybe to give you some idea, I was out here about 30 minutes ago to do a report, and the footprints that I left in the snow in the parking lot here have already filled in in that 30 minutes. The snow is just driving down right now. The roads are going to be very, very treacherous. Travel is definitely not advised. If you must go out, though, do exercise extreme caution. Drive very, very carefully, very, very defensively. Some of the major highways are primarily now just starting to get the snow cover on them. They're wet and maybe a few slick spots. The danger on the highways is the bridges and the overpasses. As we know, the ground's been fairly warm around here the past couple of days, so the snow uh, is accumulating on the grounds. But on the bridges, Underneath the bridges where you have that cold air blowing through and those freeze much more readily, much more easily than the rest of the road's surface. And so what you'll be doing is driving down the highway. If you are on the highway, you'll come on one of those bridges and then before the roads. Keep an eye on the weather. The snow coming down very, very hard and it's going to continue for some time. James, back to you. Kevin, thank you very much. A couple of quick notes before we go back to programming. The current temperature now at our place, 31 degrees. The wind chill index right now is 10. Uh, we have Interstate 59 closed between Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. Shades Crest Road on Shades Mountain in Hoover is closed. We'll be here throughout the night with continuing 24-hour news coverage and, of course, an expanded look at this major winter storm. 12 inches of snow in the Birmingham area. A number of trees are down. Power outages are widespread. This is getting to be a fairly serious situation now. We'll have a complete update coming up in about 20 minutes on Channel 6 News at 10. Please stay tuned be very, very dangerous. Secondary roads have several inches of snow on them. Uh, Scott and Brenda? Uh, Kevin, uh, I know I see a few people behind you on the roads out there. Any advice for people who do have to get out in this mess? Be very, very careful, obviously. If you don't have to go out, you don't want to. It's a very, very treacherous situation. But if you do find yourself on the roads, leave plenty of time to take extra time and extra caution. <laughs>